What's up everyone? I'm Matt and this is my wife Kara. Thank you for watching Ozark Overland Adventures. And in this video, we've been getting a lot of questions recently about the build on my wife's JL Rubicon. And so we thought now would be a good time. Let's let's do a complete walk around because we haven't we haven't done that since you got this Jeep. That's right. Um, we did we did a video right when you got it. Yeah, that, when I wasn't doing anything to when it. When you were going to keep it completely stock. That lasted <sighs> for about a week. It was a little bit longer than a week. <laughs> well, you did wheel it stock. I did. Uh, we did take one trip to the off-road park stock. Yeah. Uh, but since then, it has changed quite a bit. And we've had this... When did you get this? January? Year? Did you get this in January or December? But it's no, got... No, it was February. Was it February? It was like 2-2 two, two of 22. Like it was like some crazy... Okay. Some crazy date okay, like that. Okay, so yeah, so it's nine months old. Yeah. Nine months old. It's got just under 20,000 miles on it. Yeah. Because uh, it's been to some places this it year. Has. It has. It hasn't been to as many as Soli, but... Not as many, but it's been to a lot. Yeah. What a lot of people are really starting to realize watching the channel from the content we've been putting out this year is just how good you are driving off-road. Thanks. Um, because I, I tell people all the time, my wife can wheel the crap out of her vehicle. Yeah. And you are definitely my favorite spotter. Sorry, <laughs> Robert. Um, but you are my favorite spotter because you are an excellent spotter. Thank you. And you have been wheeling mm -hmm. almost as long as I have. Yeah. Um, just not, there's not a whole lot of difference. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that I had a two-door Sport. You had a two-door Wrangler yeah. when we met. Yep. And then I had a rough period where I wanted to save on my gas. And I got a renegade. We don't talk about that that's, much. That's the black. That's the black period. <laughs> was it the black years? It was a black renegade too. So. It was. It fit. But it was way cool. Anyways. Um, it was really cool. It was cool. It was fuel, it was fuel efficient. I think, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> then I had a four-door. Because you realized your mistake. I did. We went to Colorado and I was really sad. So I got a four-door JLU. It was named Imogene. No, you got a JKU. JKU? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right. <laughs> so I had a four-door JKU named Imogene. Beautiful color. I love that anvil color. Yep. That's a good Jeep. Yeah. And then um, went to the Grand Cherokee because I wanted the comfort, and it was still capable, and I wheeled that. I think that's where people started to see. Yeah. That's what, that's, it was your Grand Cherokee that we started to put on the channel. Yeah, because we did it at Because it was, it was different, and oh, you yeah. wheeled the crap out of that thing. Well, for uh, what a we lot more, A lot more than what we even thought it could. I think at the beginning. Yeah. And uh, it was crazy capable. For that was that just is. a bad time because it was during COVID. And so I couldn't get a lot of the products to the aftermarket parts. We weren't, yeah. we didn't wheel it as much it didn't as we have wanted as much to protection. Yeah. We didn't wheel it as much as we wanted to because we couldn't get a bumper right. to, to put a winch on it. So yeah, we had and, no real recovery on it. And I will with the intent of, I've got to drive this later. Like this, these are my daily yeah. vehicle. So, mm -hmm. yep. And then the, then from the grand Cherokee, you made it known to everyone that you wanted a Bronco. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't a Bronco. No, and I technically still had the Bronco in order, but that recently was canceled because now it was moving from 22 to 23, and I was like, no, I don't do it. Um, and I really do because, like- Because everybody that we know that has Broncos say they're horrible. You mean that has had? Or has had. Yeah. No, some people still have them. Yeah, so I still like the Broncos, um, but it has been proven that they are just not the capability of a Jeep. And I just want to be able to do more than what you can with what you see with the Broncos. Um, the capability just... aside, this. Yeah. This is all about the color. Oh, this is a beautiful this, color. That, I mean, Jeep coming out with the Tuscadero yeah. pink JL yeah. Rubicon yeah. is what brought you back yeah. to wanting a Jeep. Jeep came out with the Tuscadero. Yeah. Must have. This yeah. is my this is my forever as drove long as it Alabama lasts. Drove to Alabama overnight. Yeah. You drove to Alabama to pick yeah. it up. Yep. To Mobile, and yep. came home with a 2021. Thanks to Ben. Thanks yeah. to Ben. He's, crazy he's the one ben that found driver. it for us. He found it for me. Yeah. With a 2021 mm -hmm. JLU Wrangler Rubicon. Tuscadero. Extreme Recon. Yeah. Extreme Recon. Extreme Recon yeah. package. That was a big deal because that was big deal. wasn't going to change anything. Yeah. I was going to keep it pretty much the way it was because it comes lifted. It comes with bigger tires. It comes with the reinforced tailgate mm -hmm. to hold that tire. Um, and it comes with a higher gear ratio. Yeah, it comes with four, five, six gears. Um, it has these has that the are just fender little cool. Flare extensions. Um, yeah. So, but. It was pretty sad. Yeah, and that first video we made, 
We're going to yeah. keep it stock. Yeah. We're going to wheel it stock. This is how we want it. But you know that book, um, if you give a mouse a cookie? Yep. If you give a mouse a cookie, yeah. he's going to want this and this and this. Yeah. And we, transparency, we got an email from iCamper yeah. um, asking if we wanted to to try out the iCamper Sky Camp uh, 2.0 Mini. Yep. And I said dibs. She said yes. And if you give a Kara uh, <laughs> an eye camper, she's gonna want a roof rack to put that on. If you give Kara a roof rack, she's gonna want a lift to compensate for the added yep. weight. If you give Kara a lift, she's gonna want bigger tires. Because they won't look right. <laughs> and that's where we are today. And fast forward. It's really kind of eye camper's fault. Yeah, we blame you. Now, you have been very intentional. Yes. And how you have built this. I have built this. Yeah, and, and this this is all you. Yeah. This is 100% you. You have researched the stuff. You have picked out the stuff. Um, and I've either installed if you didn't it or helped. fully install it, you yeah. helped install it. I said in my how to waste money building a Jeep video mm -hmm. that these Jeeps were, your your Wrangler and my Gladiator were, were built with very specific purposes mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. And really, they're kind of flip-flopped because my Gladiator mm -hmm. is built as a dedicated overlander it's the best overlanding, that can yeah. be wheeled hard yeah you have built this to be a wrangler designed to wheel hard yes that can be an overlander yeah um, that it, it's designed yeah. with rock crawling in mind mm -hmm. hardcore trails in mind but can take you out for weekends or a little bit longer uh, if if you want to, yeah, I could definitely. And, and you stay have out. done that. I could and definitely stay out recently. on a weekend, and I can stay out. I could probably even go a week, but then I can take all that off, like really easy. I can take off the yep. the tent and the tent. The rack, the rack. comes off really yep. easily. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets Music Festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. So let's start here at the front. Um, tell, tell why you went with, with this bumper. Um, financial reasons, honestly. <laughs> I pay for this. Um, it was the Fishbone Stubby Bumper. It comes with a bull bar that actually goes here where these lights are. Um, but we took that off and then Matt kind of modified it because... I, I cut the bull bar off the, yeah. the recovery tabs. Yeah, we because I, I wanted the shorter look. Obviously, I would have loved to have an Evo, the quarter pounder. I just love that minimal mm -hmm. side because just whenever you're climbing up on rocks and stuff i don't want to have anything sticking out over here i wanted to be able to have that on rocks if needed yeah but the, the fishbone bumper has mm -hmm. served you well we did get the skid plate to protect the sway bar disconnect system yeah uh and so how are you liking it i mean how, how has it served you this bumper has been good it's it's good for the price this is a piece of crap. <laughs> it's um, very thin steel. I did that on and Holy Cross and I bent it really bad. They it. did replace they it because did replace it. they, you know, we told them that mm -hmm. that shouldn't have been how that happened. Um, but I mean, it's okay. It's okay for what it is. What I'd want some, I do want the Evo. Yeah. Founder. And we may get that eventually. Um, it's just better built. It's just more solid. Yeah. And it went with the open road. Yes. Um, have nothing Panther bad Series to say about 2 winch, that. I love which the is winch. the 9,500 pound version of, of the yeah. one I have. It has not died on me. So it's and it's, it's got the well. wireless remote, and that was really nice because my Warren before did not have that. Yeah, and so uh, uh, that was my first experience. It's with been that. a very good winch. Yeah, and for lights, you've got the KC, KC yeah. Gravity Pro Six in yep. a. These are the the flood pattern. Yep, I love them. Because you're a KC girl. I am a KC girl. You love the KC lights. I do. I like the classic look of the round lights. Yeah, and they're they're incredibly good lights. I do need to get some amber covers though. I you probably to have do. The amber you ones. probably do. Uh, moving up, you've got the KC Slim lights mm -hmm. in a spot pattern yep. for distance lighting. Yep. Um, Ask me how I like the lights. You like? How do you like the lights? I've not used them. You've never used the lights. <laughs> Shocker. Which is why they have. We, we have no laws requiring these to be covered in Arkansas, yeah. um, like some states do. But they matter. So these are. 
these are aesthetic. They are. They are. And I actually have a shirt that says lights before lockers. You do. <laughs> but you did get lockers before lights in this case. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that pretty much covers the front. Oh, do you want to talk about these? These lovely pieces right here. The, the Quake Smoke <laughs> Highline Fenders. The ones yes. that you want? I do. I still want them. And Pizza there's a lot of people that tell you you should have them. That just goes to show you I don't listen to what people tell you. No, you don't. <laughs> No, but yeah, the Quake Highline Fender Chop Kit. The smoke ones. Then the smoke. I was very specific about the smoke because I've seen, we have friends that have the white ones and they get dingy brown and no. And now give me some credit here. Okay. Because normally you, you have to remove all the inner fender yeah. liner. You have to remove this piece here. Yeah. But I figured out you how to it. just remove the light up here in the front, maintain your, um, your extreme recon flares here and made but it look pretty darn nice that was after a solid afternoon of me telling him that he could do it and to just try because he wanted to put them on his jeep first just to see how to install them yeah i did then we would have had two sets and i would i know no <laughs> i know okay um you got some you got some decal up yeah here. my sticky vinyls i love them they're my leopard and i have them on the side they didn't do the ones on the sides, but he came through because I wanted it to match. On the JL hood, the glare is horrible. Yeah, this bulge just reflects sun right oh, in your so eyeballs. Bad. It's bad. Um, so this I wanted just a little bit. This does help. It's obviously broken up, so it's not as good as Matt's is on his, but I like that better. Yeah, nice little touch because mm -hmm. this is yours. This is a girly Jeep, unapologetically, yep. but I don't mind driving it. <laughs> so. All right, let's, uh, let's move around to the side. Okay. All right, moving to the side, uh, we've got... This is the, the Rugged Ridge Snorkel. Yeah, this is an aesthetic thing. Well... I mean, Dave Ward Drive does get <laughs> lots of rain. Conway is known for flooding downtown. <laughs> now look, we're going to be in Arkansas <laughs> for another three years living yeah. here. But I don't Within like the, the next three years, the odds of you hitting the Ozarks in this thing are I not mean, outside the question. So we I mean, do have the... Scratches it already has scratches from Kentucky. It already has scratches, so might as well just dive yeah. in and we live in the Ozarks. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Rugged Ridge Snorkel did yeah. keep the, the low profile mount, kind of stealthy. I did want it to um, be like that. But you have the option of wheeling in the Ozarks with I confidence. I do, yeah. With or this. down Dave Ward Drive. Or <laughs> Or around town when it floods. Um, let's talk about this worthless piece of crap here. It is not worthless. It, the radio reception is horrible with that antenna. It is. It's a, did, did that come from Amazon? It did. That's a bullet antenna from Amazon. Yeah, cause... because America. <laughs> bullet leopard. <laughs> bullet, because you gonna shoot the leopard? No, I'm just saying it's just sexy. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, um, let's talk about, we talked about that. Let's let's talk about the, the tires Remember? here. Let's talk about the meat under your under the JL. She thick. So these are the Milestar MT02 38 inch um, Patagonias. And Love this is them. your this is your first set of Milestars. Yeah, I've actually I've since, I've run Milestars for years, but mm -hmm. this is your first set. So. Yeah, and since people don't know that I will, they don't realize that I've had other tires. They just think that I threw on what you have. Mm -hmm. But I've actually had Nitto. I've had Nitto Trail Grapplers, Toyo RTs, mm -hmm. and then I've had the Turo. The Otero Trailblades with a horrible tire. Really bad. Um, yeah. You I've, had the Falcon AT Wild Peak Wild Peak AT3s on your Grand Cherokee. Yeah, which those are great. Those for are Grand great Cherokee. all terrains. But, but as far as these, these are my favorite. And if, if I didn't wheel this, just the fact that they don't make the road noise They're very of quiet a typical a MT. Normally you hear a hum, like when you're coming a mile away, and I don't hear that. Mm. And that alone, in a Jeep when it's already really loud, And you And you've already wheeled this pretty hardcore. Um, oh, yeah. In, in Colorado at yeah. our local off-road parks here. I mean, you look at it, you can see. Yeah, you've got some road rash. Yeah, and they've been wearing, you've got almost 20,000 miles on these, mm -hmm. and they've been wearing incredibly well. Yeah, just keep up the rotations. Yeah, you've been wearing incredibly well. So let's talk about All the wheels. five rotations. Yeah, talk about the wheels. So those are the Black Rhino Kelsos. Um, I love those wheels. I love the Extreme Recon. That's one thing that you get with the Extreme Recon is the A special set of wheels that are B-Lock capable. And they were really nice. And I did we were not so want sad. to give them up. No, we were so sad we but had But when to. we went to install these, they wouldn't put them on that. Yeah, the wheels were not wide enough to put a 1350 tire right. on it. Right. So we went, I, they told us to look on Discount Tires website. I looked and I fell in love with these. Um, love them, wheeled the crap out of these. I will definitely stick with Black Rhino. Um, yeah, they've been good wheels. Very nice, and they look. Yeah. It's they look. So good. let's let's talk about the lift. What lift do you have on this? Because this sits really yeah. nice. 
So I have always run the rock crawler. Yep, that's what you had on your last yeah. JK. Um, but this is Clayton. And we had several people tell us to look at that just because we didn't like, I don't like the soft suspension. I don't like feeling like I'm just floaty. Mm -hmm. I want it to be very solid. When you first buy a Jeep, before you do all of the upgrades to it, it's very like- Very firm. It's pretty firm and you're on the road and it feels just very much not- Planted, solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was very adamant about that. And someone told us to check out Clayton and oh my gosh. I love my lift. It's, it's the two and a half inch Overland Plus. Yes. And I just freaking love it. Which has an amazing amount of flex. What separates the Overland Plus from the premium is that the joints on the control arms, they're maintenance free. That's good to know, but I don't they're, really care. I just like care. the way it drives. Because you're not the one doing the maintenance. I like the way it drives. <laughs> I'm the one doing the maintenance. Yeah. I have to he maintain can mine. He can tell you all the technical crap. Yeah. I'm just telling you it's good but to the Overland the Plus, it, it flexes like crazy. Yeah. It, it flexes yeah. so well. It drives so well. Um, and it holds up to the weight that we have on the back so well that we'll get to in a minute. So much so that you went and copied it off of me. I did. She's the reason why I have Clayton on my Gladiator because she got this and I loved how well this drove. Imitation and is the highest form of flattery. It is. Hence the Clayton No, Reduce. that's too so. much flattery. <laughs> uh, rock rails. Yes. They're Man, better than yours. The, these are solid rock rails. And if I didn't have what I have, mm -hmm. I would get these. So these are the rock hard. Rock hard 4x4. Four 4x4. Four. Four four. Um, I don't remember what they're actually technically called. I think they're just their rock rails. I think rock so. Rock, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, but what I like about these is not only do they bolt in, they bolt into the body, um, but they're just like double in force. They're how solid you, on there. How do you they're they're bolt-ons, okay. but they're solid. They're very, yeah. very solid. They don't just bolt to the, the frame mounts. They yeah. bolt to all the places the, that the Rubicon rails bolted to as well. Yes. So there's a That's lot of attachments. That they yeah. did. And I like the fact that you have, a, like it's a step. So like yeah, I use I, this to get in, but you know, step on it. Yeah, it's a, and it has proven to be a very solid rock rail. Yeah, I, I hit no them. movement, no flex. Yep. Um, when you have and no on this. real, I mean, there's some rash under here, but not too bad. That means you need to wheel it harder. Oh yeah, but oh look at those skid plates. Yeah, so well, since you're looking under there, uh, we did add additional <laughs> skid plates under here. Yeah, so we've what got you got the there? Asper. The skid plates. As for I, four by four. As for four by four. Aluminum I, skids. I definitely love them because um, mm -hmm. you hear that and you don't realize that you're hitting that stuff. But <laughs> yeah, Woo, there's some rash on that. Yeah, there's a lot of scratches on that. Yeah. Very good. But they're good. That's uh, what they're there for. All right, I think that covers underneath. All right, let's go up top now. So you, we've already talked about you've got the iCamper SkyCamp Mini. Yeah, and it's on the Rhino Rack back. Um, backbone system. with backbone system with mm -hmm. the platform yes and love the tent yeah i love the tent i do wish that it was the new one because i like the aesthetics of it being all black <laughs> it's just 3.0 yeah and the platform is crazy great. solid the platform is great i mean it is it one terrifying. solid piece drilling of... into my top yes but, but it wasn't too bad because they, they with really the JL, changed. They've made it so it's just all laid out. Yeah, they've made it so it's much really simpler with the JLs out. than they did with the JKs. And you are running this awning, which is yeah. a 270. Yeah. Very nice awning. Uh, tell us about it. So this is the Ostrich Wing Junior from Big Country 4x4. I love it. I recently got the walls, which just make it even much more better. And it's not the biggest one because the bigger one goes all the way up to the driver's door. Yeah, and I didn't want that. That was just too much. And if it's just me, you know. This is, this is perfect for me. And this is a freestanding awning. Yes. So this can survive like 40, 40 miles an hour, an hour winds without you having to drop the pole down. down. Yeah. And so it's just one pole whenever is, yep. you're doing that. On the Junior, it's just one yeah. pole. You didn't modify the tail lights. Yes. What you got here? You copied me as well on these. Um, yes. These are the Oracle. Um, just because that's another thing that came with the um, Extreme Recon package is it has a little flare out um, on the tail lights. And that's just something else that's going to hit on a rock whenever I'm going to be going around obstacles. So I wanted it to be flush. So I have these, these are good tail lights. They are, do not integrate with the Jeep very well as far as. No, we, we both have warning lights that yes. say our real tail lights are out. And whenever Which you are turning, stupid. the Just sensors are not. Thinking. Yeah. For some reason on these, the sensors are more to the back instead of being here to the side. Yeah. So whatever. It's annoying. So just make sure you turn your head and look and you're fine. Yeah. But they look great. Yeah. They look and, well. And they don't get busted off by trees. This is, yeah. This is just more than the looks. It's very much a yeah, it's, keep it tight right. kind of thing. All right. Let's talk uh, bumper. Yeah. Because we removed the rear bumper and you wanted very minimalist back here. Yeah. But very I didn't want it to be nothing. Reminiscent of my first JK. No, I hated that. <laughs> 
Um, I want this is the fishbone delete, the rear delete. Love it. Even if I didn't get the fishbone up front, I would have this in the back. I think Evo does make they make a version one of it. Yeah. That's like that. But I wanted to have that, but I did not want this to be unfinished. Um, this is of course part of your body. So if you were to bang this on something because this, you know, obviously is going to be the better clearance. You would have some major body damage, and I did not want that. So Rusty's rear fascia is what this is. And not only is it on the outside, but it goes up underneath. Yeah, so it that protects way, up under here. So if you come down on a rock huge. here, yeah. it, you're not, you're not, you're hitting, not your really hitting your body. Yeah, that was a big deal to me. And I wanted it to be very minimal. Have you hit this yet? Nope. Uh, you got a scratch uh, maybe, there. Maybe, yeah. yeah. You got a little scratch on the corner. So, yeah, that would have been my body right yep, there. You sure would have. I, like he said, I'm a rock lander. I like the rock crawling. I like more technical, um, but it's my daily, so. Yeah. All right, we, we discussed the lift, but as I'm looking, we did not discuss the shocks. So what shocks are you running on this? I have the Bilstein 5100s, and I had them on my JK before, and I loved them. They're very firm, and they're not very soft. Yeah, they're um, a firm like, shock. They do control body roll very well. Yes, I know you had Fox, and I did not like that, so I, I Fox wanted... Fox for a hot minute. I also did not like them. Went yeah. back to the Bilsteins. Yeah. Then went with the Elkas. Which I'm gonna be getting. Which I got news, your Elkas have shipped. Yeah. So there will be a video on comparing the, the Elkas. They're a little different than yours though, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. I have the remote reservoir adjustable. You are getting their, what's basically their basic shock up front and reservoirs in the rear. Hold up, yeah, I won't be a, basic? But not, no, upgraded basic. Oh. They're standard shock. Standard. So standard. Shock. standard. Uh, none of these are good words when you want to define a girl. <laughs> She's basic and standard. We will be having a video coming out comparing the Elkas to the Bilsteins and by by way of experience the Fox. Uh, just to see. Yeah, you know, they they wanted us to I'm test. I'm very vocal about that. I know. So. They wanted us to test and not have not be running the same shocks. I don't like just the to, softness. Just to try them. Because Elka's pretty new to the Jeep yeah. world. They've Maybe got the lots BMX of experience stuff. in in the side-by-side -side world, famous high-end stuff there, um, but they're getting out into the Jeep market, and so yep. we'll, we'll have a comparison coming for that. Yep. Now, you do have a 38-inch spare yes. on the back. People want to know, did you do anything to reinforce the tailgate? No, the Extreme Recon comes with this already from um, Mopar. It's already the reinforced tailgate. Um, that's part of the Extreme Recon package. So right now, it's it's holding the 38 great. I mean, I can't after wait to see what it almost 20,000 miles, 40s. Yeah. 40s. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because what? I'd have to re-gear. You've done that twice now. Uh-huh. So I think I could handle one re-gear. Okay. So, <laughs> so almost 20,000 miles holding a 38 inch. Yeah. Hardcore trails. It, it's holding up good. It's, it's I mean, fantastic. Yeah. I don't know that I would it's a support heavy the weight of the, the 40, but we'll see. Go big or go home. Yeah. All right. Inside here, this is your newest, oh, newest yeah. addition. Like you, this is like two weeks old. Yeah, I had this in um, Kentucky. So, so let's talk about this. You got this on the way to Kentucky. I did. I got this in Kentucky. Um, Matt got his single drawer system that he got at Overland Expo East from SHW. Those guys are fantastic. It's a small business, and I just can't say enough. Thanks, right outside Lexington. The family is incredible. Um, yeah, so these are amazing. So these are just a drawer system. This is I have my kitchen stuff. But these are the ultra light, so they only weigh like 40. All in, this is 40 pounds. Yeah, maybe 43. Maybe, yeah, Anyways, 43 pounds. But yeah, I mean, obviously if it's empty, I have stuff in here, so it's gonna add more weight. But what I like about this is that it becomes like a tote. Mm -hmm. So I can take it out, put it wherever I want it, go set it on a table if I'm at a picnic table, that kind of thing. Um, I don't lose any of the storage space, and nope. I think we're gonna put some batteries in there. Yep, we're gonna add power back here very soon. Yep. But yeah, the SHW drawer system is incredible. These cargo bags, these Magellan bags have been awesome. Yeah. Um, just about <laughs> storing stuff out of the way is yeah. has been been awesome. So yeah, these, these have been worth it. And they're hard gear. sided, they're not soft. Mm -hmm. So they're not floppy. Um, and they're very quickly easy to remove. Like you just unbuckle. Yeah. Uh, you do have fire extinguisher in the back. Yep, I do. So H3R performance fire extinguisher yep. because emergencies. You just never know. Yep. Um, Matt sometimes can't cook at camp and May cause a fire. I never have. Hush <laughs> your face. Get over there and talk about your 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 table. This is the Goose Gear table. Um, I got this at Artemis Overland in Springfield, Missouri. And I love this table. I love this little extra added piece here that has, it's kind of fit to my table. Um, the only thing that I don't love about this that I've seen since is this back area here. 
I've seen some places that have magnetic strips so that way I can put like a knife up there. Um, it just takes one less space away from the table if I was able to just utilize this too. But yeah, it's, it serves me pretty well. And another thing that I did, um, just because whenever it's at night, so if I'm cooking out here, I want to be able to see. So I installed this light strip right above my head here and it just hooks up. You just turn on this light and it provides so much light, especially with this being covered in, it makes a great little cooking space. All right, so moving to the inside, yep. what, what are we seeing back here? So first off, we have the hothead headliners. Um, we put those throughout the whole Jeep. I know you can get some of that custom from the factory. They make a Mopar one or something, I don't know, but these hotheads are so much thicker than those and they can obviously hold patches very well. They also change just the sound quality in here by just a few decimals, but you'd be surprised how much that changed it the sound of things. It does make a It um, makes a big difference on the, on the noise levels. Yeah, and temperature wise, it keeps it a lot cooler in here too. And what are, the, what are the grab handles here? So these are from Amazon. These are just some um, GPCA, I think is what it was called on Amazon. Um, we just went and got some paracord and wrapped. Um, we matched it to the color of my Jeep. And we found the design that I wanted and we just wrapped it around. But these are awesome because they're pretty much solid right there and they don't like bang and move like yours do. Yeah, these are another thing I want. Yeah. I want, I want these I'm too. I'm surprised. Not yeah. surprised. Now, who, who did the awesome uh, paracord job on that? I don't remember who did that. You don't remember I who did I think I had to pay somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Hush. All right. So tell me about the, the molly bags. So I purchased these two bags for my molly panels from Switchback Outdoor Safety. Aaron Paris um, is a great guy. This side holds all of the human first aid things um, and some carry over to the canine. I have Goose obviously always on board with me, so I have a, an animal first aid kit in there as well. One thing that I don't have in here right now that I kind of take it out as needed is a, um, what do you call it, an attic? Cargo net, it's cargo like net, a, yeah. It's like a cargo net attic space thing. It wraps around the real wires here. And it, like I put towels up there. I've even put pillows up there. It doesn't sag so I can still see. Um, but that way it's just get some extra storage in there. All right, moving to the front. Yeah. Still got the hothead headliners. Yep, yeah, both sides. This one has the patches only for the national parks. And this is the trail the badges. Trails. That's a lot of trails. Yep. Um, switch panel up at the top. What you yeah, got? Yeah, so this is the Oxbeam switch panel. It is multicolored. I have it set as pink because my Jeep is pink. And my rock lights underneath are pink. Um, Which I are can, also Oxbeam. Yes, and I can change them out too. There's, it's the Roy G. Biv that I can change all the different colors to. Cause I, I do, whenever I do want to go on rocks, I will use my white um, lights mm. to see the rocks. But tell me about your tablet and phone mount up here. So these are bullet point mounting solutions um, mounts. Um, at first I didn't have the tablet in here, but after I saw, I think it was Robert's Jeep where he has his tablet set up and I really wanted that. And it's great for whenever I'm on the road full time and I can watch Gaia. Um, I can also watch Hulu and other things that I won't talk about now. Um, while you're at camp, while you're parked. While I'm parked only for safety right. first, um, not for long drives or anything like that. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, love it. And it doesn't rattle. That was huge to me because I, in my previous JK, I had a vector bar up here and I had, I think 67 designs. Ram and mounts. It, ram mounts, mm -hmm. something like that. And it would just shake so bad and I was, it was just annoying. Yeah, the bullet so. points are solid. Yep, super great, love them. And what are you touching there? That is not the factory stereo. Yeah, let me see, I don't even know. Let me turn it on real quick. Um, it is a Stinger High 10. Um, it's a 10 inch display. And I really, really like it because that's one thing that did not come um, on this vehicle is it didn't have the bigger screen. It had the smaller screen. Um, but with this, I can go and I'll have my off-road pages um, because that's something that I did not have with the smaller screen. And so I wanted to have my pitch and my roll. And then I can even look at like which doors I have open, the different PSI on all of my tires. Um, if I have one low, it'll tell me. Um, I have my camera back here for my backup. Obviously you can see the camera pole, um, but it shows me where my tire placements are. I do want to add a front camera um, just for whenever we're off-roading in Moab, um, it's really nice to be able to see over the slick rock, especially like on Hell's Gate. Are you, are you, are you glad you went with the Stinger? 
Um, cause it, we haven't had, it, it hasn't been perfect. No, there's a lot of these things that I never use. Obviously I never use the iPod. I don't have my Sirius. I don't use any of this. I pretty much just use it for my radio, my Bluetooth. I hook, you know, my CarPlay, my CarPlay up into it. And then those off-road pages. Other than that, sometimes it glitches out and it will say no service or something stupid. No and signal on the rear yeah, camera. Yeah, no the signal. The rear camera's been the biggest issue with it. Yeah, and I don't have the backup lines, which you should have the backup lines. Overall, would I do it again? Yes, but I think it should be a lot cheaper than what we paid for it because I don't think it's as good as the yeah, we paid a lot larger for size. Yeah, I did buy that. Uh communications when you're on the trail i'm not seeing a radio in here no that's because i want to be stealthy whenever i'm not on the trail so i can go in here and also grab out my radio and i have it mounted down here it's kind of hidden away and then boom and your radio, the radio. My radio is actually is under the steering wheel yeah i didn't want it by my legs um i don't want to hit them and i don't want my passenger hitting them so i just hit it under the way it doesn't interfere with anything and you're rocking the Midland MXT 575. You got a yep. 50 watt radio, which when you and I were in Colorado together yeah. with our friends, we were communicating no problem. And we had trouble. They had the 275s that mm -hmm. are 15 watt radios and they could hear us no problem. Sometimes if we got face space far enough apart, we weren't we hearing, hearing them. them. So yep. love the 50 watt. Yeah. Five, seven, five. The only thing Highly that I, I wish that I had different in here as far as having this, I wish I had the speaker that you do. Uh, and I would probably install um, Molly panel the Molly panel up here. And then I would put a speaker kind of hanging down just for hearing purposes. Yeah. All right. And I think uh, last on the list on the interior mm -hmm. is how do you air up your tires? So I have the ARB twin. It's actually underneath this seat over here. And then I have Epic crack in um under installed underwear here as well um it's just a, a mounting piece that allows me to air up four ways so i can do the two tires on this side i can do two tires on this side all at the same time and it's does very very well it's incredible. and it's a super clean install yeah the only thing that uh, i don't like about that system is the fact that you can't um deflate you can only inflate and i definitely would like to be able to deflate well i think we covered everything yeah um i can't think of anything we left out minus goose's car seat whenever i have him in here <laughs> Again, I, I would say goose is a mod too yeah he is he's always in there he is he, yeah i'm kind of sad he's not here with me today oh and my bath and body works that thing oh my gosh yeah <laughs> anywho um if you have any questions uh be sure and drop them in the comments happy to answer anything um this thing performs so incredibly well mm -hmm. uh, i am crazy impressed with how well this thing is built, mm -hmm. the choices that you made on it, because these are yours, and influenced some of mine, making mine better. And it's just been a very solid, capable Jeep yeah. that is designed for the hardcore trails, but has the options mm -hmm. to be an overland rig when, when you want it to be. Yeah. yeah, we've got a lot of great adventures in store for this rig and both of our Jeeps together. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I think we have fallen in love of, of wheeling together and yeah. you know you, you driving your jeep and me driving mine and both get to experience it and you've not and actually got to experience fantastic. that with me what my whole camping and like we've wheeled together but we've Must never camped been. together i mean we camp together but we sleep in mine because it's the i'm overland just saying rig. i've never you've never like seen me set up everything i have not nor have i ever slept in your tent no yeah. Only goose. Only goose. <laughs> me and the goose. <laughs> we may have to change it. We may have to take, we have to take a, a wheeling trip with just this. Oh. And, and live and out let of me, it. And let me. And let you do all the things. And you just said that? I just said, yeah, like when you were with me. Except we reversed it. Oh. oh. Really? <laughs> anyway, before we get, uh, before we have marriage issues here. Uh, no, they're already here. They're already, well, before things get any more derailed, <laughs> be sure and like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our Patreon if you like what we're doing, if you like watching us fight. If you like what I'm doing. <laughs> if you like what she's doing, if you want to see her build more, you if you want to see like more goose. Um, check out our Patreon and consider supporting us in that way. Gain access to special content, events, all of our GPS data, that sort of stuff. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Together. Maybe. Promise. Bye. <laughs>